Salut Lucas. Hi Luca. Hi Paul. Hi everyone. I'm Paul from Krill.io, and this is Luca, our CEO. You're going to tell us about a great new feature. We're pretty proud of it. It's the trading terminal. It was missing and it's kind of revolutionary. It's the possibility to configure complex trades directly on the Krill.io platform without having to log on your exchange, without having to monitor its take profit or its stop loss. Perfect. Let's see it in detail right now. Here we go. It looks like this. We have the graph at the top. Today it is available on Binance and other exchanges will arrive progressively. So we have all pairs of Binance. It is available on the spot and also on the Krill.io futures version, where you can short and long, etc. This is a smart trade for now. You define your entry price, the amount you want to allocate to this trade. Here, define your take profit, one or more. Can you explain what a take profit is? That's the price you're going to want to sell for. For example, with the BNB. Today, it's between $305, $306. You want to get in on this trade. Click OK. I put in $306. I want to take my first profit, say around $320, $330, then $350, and finally $380. You can quickly see it all here. In fact, you can define several thresholds, levels of take profit after you enter the trade. That's it. You can define the take profit percentages. So, when I first take the benefit, I want 50% to ensure my exit, then 25%, and finally 25% of what remains. You can remove the third take profit. It will still work. Okay. And if the price drops in the meantime, we can stop everything easily? to save everything we have accumulated so far? Absolutely. You can activate the stop loss here. Here, you define an exit price. I want to take this trade, but if we fall back around 280, for example, I want to get out because the trade is not great. You can define it in percentage or a price. You can also determine if it is trailing. For example, if you are at negative 8% and you activate the trailing stop, every time the price goes up, the trailing stop goes up too, to stay always at negative 8% of the price you want to reach. If the price drops again, the stop loss stops. You'll hit it and be able to exit. Okay, this makes it easier to enter the market if we hadn't foreseen a sharp rise when we placed our take profit. That's right. You can also set a timeout in seconds. It's all about avoiding big volatile moves. For example, if you set a stop loss at negative 2%, you decide, I will sell, exit, only if the price stays two minutes or 300 seconds below my stop loss. It avoids all the small wicks of candles when there is much volatility. Ah, yes, flash crashes. Yes, it avoids it. You can make a nice exit if the price stays under your stop loss for a while. But if it goes up, then your stop loss will not be triggered. Okay. On the graph, all information is well indicated. And if we are more visual than numerical, what can we do? Well, then you can do what I did earlier. Visually move the orders. I like to enter the prices and then refine them on the chart. You can do it directly on the graph by dragging and dropping the little box. Same with your stop loss or entry price. It's totally interactive now? Yes, it is. You can do it upward. I want to sell at a certain price. Or downwards. I only want to buy from a certain price. So here we are in limit entry. So I could only do it at the bottom. If the price goes down, I buy. You can do it in market like we usually do, or you can also do it in stop order. The stop order lets you say, if the price exceeds a certain threshold, then I consider that my market has turned over, and at that moment, I want to enter. So it's really different from limit, which says, if it goes below a certain price, I buy. Here, we have, if it goes up above a certain price, I think we have broken a range, and I want to get in and sell later. You also have a new feature called range. 
which says, if the price reaches this threshold, then I'm in. If it is between this price, then I enter. Great. My strategy is ready. I have defined my entry price, my take profit, and eventually my stop loss, trailing stop, to avoid losses. What will happen? How much does it cost? Where will I see my positions? So before we talk about that, there's something I really like about the stop loss. I'll show it to you. A little option we added recently. Traders call it pass the break even. We call it put the stop loss on the last take profit. This will actually set up your trade as a staircase. Here, for example, I will put my four take profits. I have an entry price that will be market, the current entry price. And I have a stop loss, which is below this kind of lateralization zone. And so I can say, I enter now. My stop loss is around $275. But if I reach my first take profit, which is $315, this puts my SL at my entry price, which is my buying price of $305. If the price reaches the second take profit, then the stop loss joins the first take profit. If the price hits the third TP, the SL joins the second TP. So it will work as a staircase, which means that if the price goes down, then I will secure my gains and stop here without having a trailing stop in terms of percentage, which doesn't always interest the trader who just wants these four pillars and to secure his gains. So it's a way of trailing in a staircase and not linear. Now, to come back to your question, once everything is configured, what happens? What do we do? So the first thing that is interesting, below the stop loss, there is a little cartridge that will give me all the information about my trade. I will see that, I come in at $305. My first TPs are at 315, 333, 350, 375, the last one. My stop loss is at $280, 278. So I have a potential gain of 12% versus a potential loss of 8%. So it's a trade, relatively winning if all goes well. I have a risk to reward ratio of 1 to 1.4, approximately. This allows you to have statistics on your trade. You also have here the estimated profit with the amount you put. We'll put, for example, $200. Here on $200, I have a potential gain of $24. I have the possibility to copy this information if I want to share it with friends or people who follow me on Telegram, etc., and even generate a special link, a magic link, a little bit what we already have on smart trading which allows those who click on it to fall back on my smart trading with all my configurations. In short, you can share your setup with someone who can follow you. Click and launch the exact same trade. This is very interesting. Once everything is set up, click and launch smart trade. And at this moment, the strategy will start. That's it. Here, I have two choices. Stay here to start a new trade or another pair or go to my positions up there. This has been inherited from Trading Terminal Futures with short or long positions. In spot, we will have classic positions. Enter on a price to try to exit on another price. And here, it will no longer be long, but trade, since we are in spot. Click here to automatically display all information on the chart. We can see my stop loss, current PNL, my latent profit or loss. I have my four levels of take profit and I have information about my current positioning, my entry price, the current price, the size of my position. So here we bought at 0.65 BNB. When the trade started, what is my capital, my ROE, and my PNL? The ROE, return on equity, is how much money I made or lost, and the PNL, profit and loss, is the latent profit or loss in percentage. Then we find the number of krill, KRL, assigned to this strategy. Because a position on the trading terminal is a real strategy consisting of a set of configured cases created haddock on this trade. Okay, to summarize, a smart trade, like this one, 
consumes exactly like a strategy, i.e. 1% of the capital that has been invested, the whole duration of the smart trade. When it stops, the consumption stops. There is also the possibility to share the result of the trade with a small QR code for affiliation and share your results in the Binance way. Well, perfect. Thanks a lot, Luca. It seems to be a very revolutionary and addictive tool. I invite you to test it as soon as possible on the platform. Thanks to Luca, and thanks to all of you for following us. Subscribe and like to reference us on YouTube. Thanks and see you soon. Bye.